When I saw this path on the side of the mountain, I invoked the name of the Almighty God, hung against the rock, and began to climb, little by little. And the Almighty God bade the wind to be still, and helped me with the ascent, so that I reached the summit safely, and went directly to the dome. Glad at my safe escape, I entered the dome, performed my ablutions, and prayed, kneeling down several times in thanksgiving to the Almighty God for my safety. Then I fell asleep under the dome overlooking the sea, and heard in a dream voice saying, O Ahib, when you wake from your sleep, dig under your feet, and you will find a brass bow and three lead arrows inscribed with talismans. Take the bow and arrows, and shoot the horseman to throw him off his off the horse, and rid mankind of this great calamity. When you shoot at him, he will fall into the sea, and the horse will drop at your feet. Take the horse and bury it in the place of the bow. When you do this, the sea will swell and rise until it reaches the level of a dome, and there will come to you on a skiff carrying a man of brass and holding in his hands a pair of paddles. Ride with him, but do not invoke the name of God. He will row you for ten days until he brings you to the sea of safety. Once there, you will find those who will convey you to your native land. All, of, all this will be fulfilled, providing that you do not invoke the name of God. Soon as the ship touched land, and there came ashore ten black men, carrying shovels and baskets. They walked on until they reached the middle of the island. Then they began to dig into the ground and to shovel the earth away until they uncovered a slab. Then they returned to the ship and began to haul out sacks of bread and flour, vessels of cooking, butter and honey, preserved meats, utensils, carpets, straw mats, couches, and other pieces of furniture. In short, all My lady, they walked until they reached the trapdoor, went down, and were gone for a long time. 